We type our session code and we should join Active Lobby. And it worked. Welcome back. Today, let's add the ability to join a lobby via a session ID. We will have to create the UI mostly, as the EIK plugin will do the heavy lifting. First, go to the widgets, to our menus, lobby creation, and let's duplicate this horizontal box. Name text generate session code question mark and name the checkbox session code checkbox. Now, we get the session code checkbox and check if it is checked. If it is checked, we enable joining via ID. Drag lobby ID override and do select. Use checked state as index. So if it's set to true, we generate a code. And if it's false, we just leave it as is. I will choose code length to be 5 for the session code. I will add one more map key, and we need new key name. Double click on our library function to open it. Duplicate one of our functions and change it to has session ID key. Use the same name just no spaces, for the literal string and return node output. Now get has session ID key. Break EIK attribute and for bool value use is checked session code. If the generate session code checkbox is set to true, we generate the session code and add a map key indicating that we have generated the session code. Now, let's open the lobby widget and create a visual UI element for the session key. Make border variable. Name it session code border. Duplicate text. Make it variable named session code text. Make session code border default visibility to be collapsed. Here, we create a function called show session ID box. Get the current session info. Break return value. Use find function and for key use has session ID. Break the attribute and branch from the bool value. If the session has an ID, Get the session code border and set its visibility to non hit testable self only. 
Get the session code and set the text. Text content will be the session ID string. Add return node. We'll change attribute value to bool as I forgot to do it. And now we can add our show session ID box function in our lobby widget activation. We can freely test it in editor. It's working. Now that we have the invitation code, we can share it with friends that we don't have. Now we'll open the lobby browser widget, where we'll add UI to input the session ID code and join that lobby. Set text to session ID. Add text box. Set hint text to session code. Change font and make it bigger. Add horizontal box and two buttons. Name one button cancel, the other join. Make border to a variable and name it session code border. Rename editable text to session code. Add on button, clicked events for both buttons. I forgot we will need one more button. Duplicate back button. Rename it to join via ID. Now we need to override the button's width and height. Go to our button style. Here, set the default values to zero, as we can't go lower than those values in the designer to set our button size. Now some of our buttons have become almost invisible, but now we can edit our button width and height. Do same for any other buttons in our widgets. Now add on clicked event for join via ID button.
Let's start with join via ID button. Get our session code border and check if it's visible. Do a branch. If it's not visible, let's set its visibility to be visible. Get search lobbies button. We need to disable it. Set default state of session border to be collapsed. For cancel button, we need to reverse all join via ID logic. Now we make border collapsed. And re enable search button. Make sure copying not forget to connect border to set visibility. We'll comment those buttons real quick. Now on to our last button. Use find EIK session by ID node. For the session ID, we use the session code. Just get the text. Get session code border and make it collapsed. Add join EIK session node. Connect found result with session to join. Add print string for success and failure. Let's create a custom event named failed to join lobby. Search for get all widgets of the class. Set lobby entry as widget class. Do F for each loop. Get the join button. And we disable it. Collapse this to macro and name it Disable Join Buttons. Open it and remove tick from top level only. Drag on completed to output. And in is enabled to input. Get the search lobbies button and enable it. Do the same for the join buttons. If we fail to join a lobby for some reason, we want all the buttons to be re-enabled. Do a delay after join EIK session of 7 seconds. If we not manage to connect we re-enable buttons to try again or refresh search. Also, it failed to join lobby event for failure to join EIK session. Place disable join buttons macro for join button at the very beginning of on clicked event.
Let's test it. We type our session code and it should work. And it worked. Now let's make an error message appear when the user types an incorrect session code. Add a common border to our lobby browser widget layout. Add common text. For text type, no lobbies were found with that ID or something along the line. Set initial border visibility to be collapsed. Let's do animation for our no lobbies found error message. Open animations tab. Click add animation and name it pop-up anim. Click on pop-up anim and in common border of our error message look for visibility and click on add keyframe icon. Also add keyframe for render opacity. Set the visibility for the border in the tracks to be visible and set the render opacity to be zero. Drag timeline to 0.5 seconds and add render opacity key of value one. Drag timeline to 1 second and set opacity to 0. Set border visibility to be collapsed at 1 second. You can play it to see how it looks. Click Add Track and Add Audio Track. For audio track, use any error sound you like. Drag sound to match our timeline. Now in the graph, we need to play this animation when the user inputs the wrong session code. Add play animation node. For animation, set our animation. It works. This was easy, mostly making UI as EIK handled the rest. Thanks for watching.